we're going to put Windows 7 on a new hard drive. We've got to this stage, we put a new disk in. We're going to install it now. So we go to install, press on this, setup is starting. Come on. The disk has started in the drive. You have to accept. If you don't accept, it won't do it. I accept. Next. It's not an upgrade, it's a new hard drive. Well, new to this computer. We're going to put it on zero, partition one. Right. Windows cannot be installed. On this partition, show details. Windows cannot be installed to this disk. Right, and the selected disk is of the GPT partition style. Okay. Advanced, let's have a look. Can't get on new. Nope. Right then, what we do, let's go out of that, back out of that, can we go out, no, right then, what we do, click off that, Are you sure you want to cancel the installation? Yes. We're back to this. Right, once we're back on this screen, we want to press FN and F10 at the same time. Shift, sorry. I'll go for Shift. F10. Oh, I can't get it. Right, this takes you into this screen. So what you want to type in here is disk part, D-I-S-K, P-A-R-T. It's a bit shaky with camera, one-handed. D disk, P-R, disk part, press enter. That's gone a bit blurred. Oi. What's happening here? There you go, disk part. Then you press enter. The next thing you want to type in is list. L I S T. Press enter. And we want to select. Disk zero, so you type in select a gap D I S K a gap zero, and it will tell you disk zero is now the selected disk. All you do now is type in clean C L. E A N press enter disk succeeded in cleaning the disk disk part thank you right close that one now we'll try we'll have a go at installing now that should have changed it to an MBR disk we have to accept. Next. It's a custom, fresh install. There we are. And it doesn't say anything that it cannot be loaded. Next.
next. There you go. Copying Windows files. And there you have it. So simple. Thank you for watching.